The book I've chosen to read to you today is Room on the Broom and it's written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Schaefer. Here we go. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they stapped on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her hat. <gasps> Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely and then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I'm a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on, and the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud, and, her home, and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from a long ginger plait. <gasps> Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out of a tree with an ear splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said, as the witch tied the plait in a bow, I'm a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on and the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the birds shrieked and with glee and the stormy winds blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of a wand. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a croak, as the witch dragged the wand on the fold of a cloak, I'm a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on, and the witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy, and the broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat, the dog and the frog, down they went, tumbling into a bog. The witch half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I'm a dragon as mean as can be. I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer, licking its lips, and said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furry. It had four frightful heads and wings like a bird. And, te and its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched and it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, buzz off, that's my witch. Oh. The dragon drew back and started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It was nice to have met you, but I now must fly on. And sp he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up a cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found the lily, the cat found the cone, the bird found the twig, and the dog found the bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggety, ziggety, zaggety, zoom, then out rose a truly magnificent broom, with seats for the witch, and the cat, and the dog, 
and a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Look at them on that fantastic broom. That is one of my favourite stories, the room on the broom. <laughs>